Well, it's a pretty awesome place to have a convention here in Maui. I mean, you can't really complain. Most of the time when you have conventions, you're in a stale, terrible hotel in an awful place. It's exciting and overwhelming at the same time. You know, there's that, that mix of curiosity and inspiration. They make it really hard to want to come in here and work. It's right on the beach. It's a great spot they got here. Senator Willis Sparrow from Eva Beach, Oahu. I'm personally meeting a lot of people and it's good to meet individuals who are like-minded, advocates, uh, lobbyists, uh, just regular folks who are patients and or support uh, adult use and other things uh, related to the cannabis industry. I'm Andrew D'Angelo from Oakland, California. I'm with Harborside. I'm director of operations over there. It's kind of fun to drop into a program that's fresher and newer, and they're going to be planting industrial hemp here soon. The industrial hemp revolution is going to come in the next five years, and that's going to be perhaps the most exciting cannabis development of any of our lifetime. Hemp is a jewel. It has a multitude of uses and benefits in the world, and I'm so glad it's starting to come back up again out of so many needs and reasons. My name is Shamir Britt. I'm with Mana Artisan Botanics, and we're based out of the Big Island in Kona. This one is really nice because there's an educational factor behind it. We really like to do and position ourselves in a way that empowers the people to make more informed decisions about their hemp choices. People want to know and have information, and they're curious, and we're really happy to be part of that scene. My name is Terry Freitas Gorman and I am Director of Community Relations and Patient Affairs for Maui Grown Therapies. I believe that our cannabis program here in Hawaii is very much in line with Native Hawaiian culture. Our community has a very long history of healing with plants. It goes back 2,000 years here. I took classes in Laola Pao and do it and plant studies and Cannabis was never an option back then, but over the years we've been learning a lot more about cannabis and the usefulness of cannabis. My name is Michael Buchanan from Molokai. Our company name is Pakololo C. Being out in the public with having one cannabis expo, you know what I mean? That's like that's just natural now. It's going to be become more natural, you know, and every day. So this is super important. It's a natural crop that it has a lot of benefits. Finally, the cycle is coming back around and we are now getting into uh, legalization and adult use after it was banned in the 40s. Cannabis was a medicine that was found in our drug stores from 1850 until 1937 when the drug laws changed and it, cannabis became marijuana, the devil's lettuce. I'm Cannabis Nurse Wendy. I'm an organizer with the Drug Policy Forum and we are Oahu-based. Expos like this are hugely important to help raise awareness and it was a wonderful opportunity to be able to explain to people a little bit about how the medicine works and how far we really need to go in help, helping educate other healthcare professionals. Zach Zeggers, I go by Ziggy. We're from Orlando, Florida. Our company is Happy Buddha CBD. This is the only way to get in front of the consumer. Like, you can read stuff online all day long, but it's just words. And so, for me, like, I'm a visual learner. Like, I have to hold something to learn what it is. Being able to explain it to a consumer is very important to make sure that they understand what it is. This is the first year. I would like to see it continue to grow. and evolve and get bigger and more robust, but we've been very happy. The plant does the work for us. We just gotta put it in everybody's hands, and then uh, once that happens, she'll take it from there, and the world will change, and we'll all be uh, healthier, more sustainable, happier lives. I, I think cannabis is the next bull rush you know, and everything, so everybody's just waiting out there, waiting it for it to happen. Let's do it, you know, just get it over with, make it right, let's make it right, let's do it. And yeah, that's it.